Uh, we're looking for students um, that are keen to learn construction and have an interest in design and surveying and planning. Um, and we're looking for students that um, really want to do work experience and students who really want to progress into a professional career in construction. Uh, in year one we study um, the core element of the T-level um, and there's 14 different areas. To give you an idea, it's things like health and safety, sustainability, law, building technology, building design, um, mathematics, uh, construction sciences and materials, um, to give you a rough flavour of what's involved. Um, and in the second year we specialise into either design and surveying, civil engineering, or building services design. One of the things we do, we like to try and keep everything as practical as we can. Um, at the moment, the types of software that we use um, are Autodesk AutoCAD, Autodesk Revit, um, something called Twin Motion, um, and we've been looking into virtual reality as well and things like that. Um, that said, we also use um, the other types of software for producing um, planning documentation and all of the usual things that you'd expect in, a, in an unusual office environment to create reports and spreadsheets and things like that. The, there's a, a minimum amount of hours that a T-level student has to do in terms of work experience. Um, that equates to roughly 50 days over the two years and we encourage all of our students to do more than the 50 days of you know, um, to get more experience and more stuff onto their CV. 20% um, of the course is work experience, um, so students will be going out to um, companies um, and uh, immersing themselves in those companies and learning those things that are related to their course while they're out there um, in the workplace. Um, that can be on construction sites, it can be in design offices, it can be going out with surveyors, um, it can be working with main contractors or architects, civil engineers, building services designers. Um, it's uh, fairly flexible how that's done and there's generally um, time in the timetable, one day per week, where people can go out and do their work experience and also we can accommodate um, block weeks. If employers are really interested in having a student for longer than just the one day, we can organise that. So we're very flexible. Uh, the T-level is assessed um, by um, two exams and something called an employer set project, which covers the core element. So, and the exams are two papers, each one an hour and a half long. Um, and the employer set project is similar to a controlled assessment which takes place over a few weeks. The employer set project is um, in the second year of the course and the rest of the assessment takes place right at the end of the second year. Um, as a college we do a lot of enrichment but course specific enrichment we um, organise trips to local construction sites. <coughs> we have um, people come in, so guest professionals that will come in and tell people um, about their journey in construction and what they've been doing. Um, we'll also have people come in and talk about specific projects, things that they've worked on, so architects and designers. Um, and we're also looking at um, get it, uh, taking students out to other local building sites and some of the larger developments and some of the more unusual sites so that everyone gets a flavour um, of what a broad range of work and opportunities there are in construction. Typically T-level students, um, some of them want to stay in full-time education and go on to degree courses so locally we're very lucky to have um, some very good construction universities. Um, however, there's um, also an element of people who want to go straight into the workplace and maybe carry on their study while, or do higher level study while they're in the workplace. So former T-level students have gone on to full-time employment with the companies that they've done their work experience with and also had higher education attached to that work placement. So they go into maybe degree level apprenticeships or onto higher level um, education. So after completing a T-level, um, and after then completing some higher education, typical types of job role that people could go into or occupations would be things like architecture, architectural technology, site management, project management, 
building surveying, town and country planning, building control, estimating, uh, as well as uh, technician level design of building services um, and um, technician level civil engineering. My teaching background is I've worked in education for the last 20 years. Um, the last 15 of those have been um, teaching construction um, and construction design, surveying and planning um, and construction management. Um, myself, I'm a chartered construction manager uh, and I'm also um, working towards chartership uh, for, with the Chartered Institute of Architectural Technologists. Um, so my main interests are um, drawing, digital construction and building information modelling. I really enjoy interacting with the students that we have here at Sirencester College. Um, everyone is extremely motivated. Um, the T-level gives us a great opportunity to engage with um, employers, um, and engage and to engage with the wider construction sector um, across Wiltshire, Gloucestershire, um, South Gloucestershire, I suppose, and yeah, North Bristol. Um, it, it, it's a relatively new qualification, um, but it's a, uh, the content of that qualification is is really really exciting, um, and it's great at Sirencester College because we have these fan fantastic new facilities. Um, that are geared towards specifically teaching T-levels.